Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I'm your host, Doug Geinzer, the CEO of Las Vegas Heels, and we're happy to be back on the air here in the studio on a Friday morning of Labor Day weekend. And we were going to have two guests with us today, but we've got some technical difficulties going on. And if guest number two is able to join us via Skype, we will do that, but it doesn't look that way right now. But uh, we've got a great guest in the studio. This guest is uh, definitely not new to Inside Medicine. This is Cheryl Smith from the Las Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. And we're going to talk to you a little bit today about medical meetings and everything that goes on in Las Vegas. Cheryl, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Doug, and thank you for having me back. Absolutely. And those of you that are live with us today, you're able to chat your questions in by visiting vegasvideonetwork.com slash live. There's a little chat box there. Ask us your questions, and we will do our best to uh, answer those. On Inside Medicine, what we do is we bring together the leaders of the healthcare industry, uh, the innovators, those doing amazing things, those that are doing health and wellness travel. Uh, and today we're going to talk about medical meetings. It's a big part of the regional strategic plan. And Cheryl Smith is one of the authors of that and works for the Visitors and uh, Convention Authority and is going to tell us a little bit more about medical meetings. Cheryl, give us a, a high level about the LVCVA, kind of what you are, what you do, and then more importantly, tell us about your role. Sure. Well, the LVCVA, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, is a uh, government entity, quasi-government entity, and we are, of course, funded through the hotel room tax. So our entire purpose and mission is to promote Las Vegas, market the destination for all things leisure and business travel. Um, specific to my role, um, I handle specialty markets and medical and wellness um, travel are certainly one of them. When it comes to our, our topic today being medical meetings, um, as you know, in our the regional strategic plan for health and wellness travel, we, we've kind of looked at health and wellness travel from three different perspectives. Um, one being specifically medical travelers who come to Las Vegas for a medical surgical procedure. Um, number two, people who travel to Las Vegas for leisure travel that are more spa and wellness visitors. They could be participants in marathons or spa goers, adventure travelers, or just wanting to have some fun in Las Vegas. And three are certainly the travelers who come here that are professionals related to medical meetings. And how many are there? You know, we've, we Las Vegas has, what, 42 million people a year that come here, but then there are what we call business delegates. So sure. what does that number look like? Um, it's about 5.9 million business delegates who come to Las Vegas. It's a lot of business Vegas. travelers. It is a lot of business travelers. Absolutely. They all aren't medical meetings, though. No, no. Okay. No. Yeah. So we do have about 22,000 meetings in total that happen wow. here. Related to medical meetings, we don't really have a clear way of being able to quantify how many of those 22,000 are specific to health care, but certainly tens of thousands of people do come uh, for medical meetings that are related to some type of health or wellness topic. But it sounds like a lot of the meetings nowadays are starting to take advantage of the assets that are here in Las Vegas and starting to bring in wellness components. Yes, they are. Um, so whether they are specific, whether the content of the meeting itself is related to medicine or some sort of healthcare topic, there are other industries. Um, healthcare is applicable really to all people, all walks of life, all ages, all demographics. So it really doesn't matter the industry sector that a conference or a trade show is focused on. Um, every, All of the meeting planners are now beginning to look at health and wellness and how to incorporate that into their meeting experiences. So that um, if it's a corporate meeting that's coming here, how does that corporation carry their health and wellness employer um, focused um, initiatives around health and wellness into their meeting experience. So for example, shows even like uh, the Consumer Technology Association, CES, um, there's a very large growing part of their show that is focused on consumer health technology. Even the CEO last year participated um, in a steps challenge, how many steps you can walk at CES. So. They have to walk a lot of they steps. They have to walk a lot of steps. It's a very large show. <laughs> it is. It is. So uh, we want to talk a little bit about medical meetings mm -hmm. today. And uh, we've had a, an amazing relationship with the LVCVA. So we're very thankful for that. And uh, it, it's brought a lot of opportunity to our local healthcare professionals. And I want to spend a little bit of time to kind of defined uh, a little bit of what our relationship looks like and how the locals can really take advantage of the right. fact that uh, there's a lot of medical meetings that are hosted right here in Las Vegas. We have a bunch coming up. Uh, hopefully, if the, the folks uh, call in today, we'll be able to talk a little bit about the Cardio Metabolic Risk Summit, which mm -hmm. will be here uh, in October. Yes. But uh, tell us a, a little bit about how you work with Las Vegas Heels and really how 
the members of Las Vegas Heels and those in the healthcare community can take advantage of these meetings that come into town because no other city has that. This is true. So I, I think between our two organizations, certainly um, what LVCVA does for the destination to, to brand and market the destination um, for travel and tourism, in many ways, Las Vegas Heels seems to be doing the same thing on behalf of our healthcare industry. So it's a natural type of partnership and relationship that our two organizations have been able to um, develop and foster for um, really mutual benefit, um, not just for our organizations, but for our great, the community at large in Southern Nevada. You know, um, travel and tourism has a, an enormous economic impact on Las Vegas, and actually and not just on Las Vegas, but the entire state of Nevada. Um, you know, 22,000 um, Meetings are held here um, annually, and uh, travel and tourism hospitality employs about um, 47% of our workforce. Wow. Um, so the downstream impact of meetings as part of that um, visitor population that comes to Las Vegas has an enormous impact. When we talk about medical meetings in particular, and we're looking at um, – this huge volume of intellectual knowledge, um, advancements in research that are being revealed, um, new technologies that are being exhibited at these shows. This is an incredible opportunity for our community and our community of healthcare professionals, whether they be doctors or dentists or nurses or uh, PAs, uh, nurse practitioners, um, chiropractors, you name it. If you are an allied health professional, there is a conference or a trade show that comes to our community at some point in time throughout the year um, or over the course of the next coming years, coming years. So to be able to access those shows and tap into that knowledge um, and to see that research being um talked about, what the latest advancements are, um, is a great educa educational opportunity for our local community. But yeah, because a lot of the, the cutting edge training, the newest things get released at these conferences. And they do. It seems like every conference has some level of continuing education or continuing medical education mm -hmm. attached to it. So, you know, the, the relationship has afforded Las Vegas Heels mm -hmm. the ability to reach to its members and, and offer uh, either low cost or in some cases, no cost. Uh, access to the CMEs. Uh, so w it, it's a great way for practitioners not to have to pack up and travel to a Chicago or uh, a Houston or an Orlando to, to get access to it. So thank you for, for that, that partnership. We're greatly appreciative of that. Um, let's talk about a couple of the conferences that are coming up. Uh, and so we've got Pain Week. Yes. Uh, that's going on next week. It is. And it's down at the Cosmopolitan. And uh, tell us a little bit about Pain Week, just a high level, and then let's talk a little bit about uh, Las Vegas Heels and its relationship and role with that and how everybody benefits. Sure, sure. Well, Pain Week in particular certainly attracts uh, physicians as well as other types of clinicians that are all focused on treating patients that are experiencing some sort of chronic pain or um, pain-related condition. Um, so the conference itself um, is an annual event. It does come here every year, um, and it's been growing significantly over year over year. Um, so we're very excited to have um, to be able to welcome Pain Week back to Las Vegas. And um, I know that um, this has been one of the the examples of how our two organizations, between LVCVA and Las Vegas Heels, how we've been able to work together and and actually help promote a conference um, that is growing and and very loyal to coming back to Las Vegas year after year. Um, but it's been a great way for us to be able to incorporate that relationship and help develop and grow um, a client relationship like um, Pain Week and, out, and actually increase access for our local community providers to have access to that type of show. Yeah, and for us, many times the show uh, planner will offer either, again, low-cost or no-cost admission to these sure. conferences. So for us, it's great. It's a way to expose that to our members. They get access to this content that they wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. And really where Las Vegas Heels benefits the greatest is uh, many times these show organizers are uh, generous enough to give us a booth out on their exhibit floor. We make some type of arrangements and we'll go and we'll talk to these practitioners. And we're, we've got an opportunity to share what's going on in Las Vegas and sometimes uh, attract a practitioner to consider relocating here or spread the seed of what we're doing with medical travel and maybe develop some referral patterns. And uh, seems to be a, a wonderful relationship. We're very grateful for that. Uh, we've got a couple other conferences coming up. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll talk a little bit later on about the Cardiometabolic Risk Summit. Uh, but there's a gigantic conference coming up in December. 
A4M. Tell us a little bit about that. A4M is the American Academy of Anti-Aging, and this year they're co-locating their show along with a a new show called MedTech. Um, So it affords local providers the opportunity to access all types of different um, uh, CME opportunities related to the aging process. So while um, it might seem obvious that, oh, well, wait a minute, something with the term anti-aging in it is related specifically perhaps to cosmetic or plastic surgery, the reality is um, many of the topics that are addressed in the CME programs offered through that particular conference have to do with the aging process of different parts of the human anatomy, both male and female. Mm -hmm. So um, certainly they address heart-related issues and obesity and diabetes um, issues and a number of other uh, comorbidities that um, patients are often struggling with and helping doctors gain access to new technologies or or new um, treatment um, protocols. And they bring in a lot of practitioners. (laughs) And uh, so... I think that number is 5,200, 6,000. It seems like it's, it's a it's large a number. number. <laughs> so I think that helps the LVCVA accomplish its heads and beds. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, it does. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is our goal. <laughs> Very good. So let's yeah. let's talk a little bit. There's another one that's coming up mm-hmm. in the first quarter of next year. I believe it's a trauma uh, mm-hmm. surgeon conference. It, it is. Yes, the American College of Surgeons mm-hmm. um, is bringing their celebrating their 50th um, conference here in Las Vegas, mm-hmm. and they've been here um, every year. And will be at Caesar's Palace. And um, this particular year, they actually have a special program called Stop the Bleeding. Mm-hmm. program, which is based on um, some new research for first responders and trauma um, physicians and yeah. trauma personnel. So we've been able to work with them. Uh, they had a, s- expressed an interest in wanting to bring some of this information and this knowledge to our local providers of first responders. So our, our uh, police officers and our firefighters mm-hmm. and our ambulance professionals and um paramedics, as well as the hotel security staff um, and teams that oftentimes are on site in a medical emergency. So um, the fact that they had an interest in wanting to reach that community, um, we've been able to, that's again, been a great partnership opportunity between Las Vegas Heels, who has been a great conduit for helping connect them to the right people. And I believe with that particular conference, they, uh, how do I want to put this? Um, They've got a lot of folks coming in. They're going to leverage our assets here. It's a great opportunity for the locals to go down there and and learn about trauma and learn about uh, uh, this audience and get access to some some CMEs that are are provided. Correct. Um, That's a great opportunity. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, CRS Mm -hmm. Fall, which is our guest that it it looks like... uh, Unfortunately, technically, we're not going to be able to loop them in. Uh, But, Scott, if we could roll the uh, one-minute clip that we have about Cardiometabolic Risk Summit in the fall, I think that would be a great way to lead into the next segment. So the cardiobolic medic, the cardio metabolic risk summit, um, it's a pretty niche conference. They mm-hmm. are really addressing folks in family medicine, nurse practitioners, registered nurses, internists, PA, certified uh, diabetes educators, pharmacists, and pediatricians. They are doing something a little bit different this time, and I believe it's around culinary medicine. Mm-hmm. Uh, Scott, if you could cue up, they've got a. A nice slide there that uh, talked us just a little bit about culinary medicine, if you could. Well, certainly um, helping people who 
learn how to prepare meals and cook um, meals that fit their um, specific medical conditions. So understanding how to cook and prepare meals for diabetics versus meals for someone with a heart condition um, is is a critical piece. It's one thing for a physician to treat a patient um, for the actual medical condition, but that patient is responsible for going home. Um, it, so they, they need to be able to, you know, carry out not just the medical prescription, but also the lifestyle prescription that physicians um, will prescribe for patients that have those types of diagnoses. So um, CRS uh, and their culinary medicine program actually helps clinicians, physicians understand how to educate their patients on how to prepare those meals. So it's like a train-the-trainer program. That's unique. And I think, you know, Las Vegas is in a very unique position because we have such a, a large spectrum of culinary uh, Restaurants. Yeah. And culinary, yes, absolutely. Speaking so. of which, we've got a question <laughs> from a guest. Thank you, Suzanne. And that question says, Las Vegas is well known for world-renowned chefs and cuisine. Is there anything happening with culinary medicine? To my knowledge, um, I believe that one of the uh, academic um, medical schools, Turo University, I believe does some culinary education Mm -hmm. um, for students at that level. And then um, there have been some programs um, around at some of the restaurants that have been put together by the celebrity chefs or um, and their teams that address culinary medicine. One in particular, um, I can... um, recall is at Guy Savoie at Caesars Palace Mm -hmm. has a gastronomy um, program that focuses on um, the culinary experience and the overall sensory experience of pairing certain foods together to have different types of culinary experiences. None are particularly related specific to culinary medicine, however. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes the opportunity of um, this particular program coming um, to Las Vegas and this particular piece of this program uh, that's coming to Las Vegas so unique. That's cool. So talk to us a little bit about the culinary offerings in Las Vegas. We hear a lot about that. And uh, I think the most unique one that we hear about is our vegan, vegan Mm -hmm. uh, offerings. And a lot of people don't realize that's, it's a not just a trend anymore. It, this is real. It's, it's a happening. lifestyle. Absolutely. So, um, yes, in fact, on lasvegas.com, there's a restaurant tab and where you can search restaurants in Las Vegas um, by cuisine. And a um, short time ago, we were able to actually add to lasvegas.com a tab for vegetarian and vegan restaurants. And many of those are located on the strip. Many of them are located just immediately off the strip. But in total, there's uh, well over 60 restaurants that are all um, within walking distance of that, uh, our tourism corridor um, on the Las Vegas Strip that all either provide vegetarian uh, meals and or vegan friendly uh, meals or are 100% vegan. Very good. And you know what? We just, we got something in from the folks from Cardio Metabolic Risk and uh, it, it's a wonderful thing. They are going to offer our viewers of this show and members of Las Vegas Heels, as many as 25 complimentary registrations, oh, which that's is fantastic. awesome. So again, here's a great that's opportunity great. for our local healthcare mm-hmm. community uh, to attend mm-hmm. a conference and get a scholarship to this. And uh, you just need to, when you go online to uh, the CRS website, uh, there's a promo code that you'll need to enter in there. And that promo code is podcast. So P-O-D-C-A-S-T. And you'll be able to register that at their website, which uh, we have in here uh, as CRS Fall, as in F-A-L-L, dot com. So very generous of the good folks over at Cardio Metabolic Risk Summit. And they're going to be here for their fifth year in Las Vegas. Uh, Talk to us, these shows, they seem to come back to Las Vegas a lot. What makes Las Vegas so attractive to the medical meeting planner and uh, their conferences? Well, I think there's a number of things. Um, number one, I think certainly is the availability of space um, and and the ease with which people can travel to Las Vegas. Our airport connectivity is significant, which makes it very easy for people attending the conferences to get here. Um, additionally, you know, our hotel room rate, uh, average rate, is right around $120, which makes it also very affordable. Mm -hmm. Um, So from a meeting uh, planner's perspective, um, those are some great reasons to locate a meeting here in Las Vegas. But I think the the really interesting thing that we're starting to see more happening um, or more things starting to happen around is this whole concept of health and wellness travel. Because 
Las Vegas does have a regional plan for this. A lot of the medical meeting planners and healthcare meeting planners and even planners in other industry sectors are really interested in wanting to connect to our local healthcare community in some way. Um, so in some instances, um, very much like the Cardiometabolic Risk Summit, which has specific programs that do fit very nicely, um, you know, into kind of our, our uh, what Vegas is all about with the culinary medicine program. There's other programs, other conferences that are also um, finding ways to connect with our local health and wellness community. Many of them are offering um, 5K runs that are health and fitness experiences, or they're working with the hotel spas and spa directors to incorporate yoga into their early morning sessions or some sort of uh, mind-body meditation type experience. Um, Walking many of these shows sometimes is um, a wellness activity in and of themselves, and sometimes you need to take a little time just to relax and kind of regroup and uh, gain that perspective on on what you're doing and why you're there and kind of settle your mind a little bit. So the fact that that these meeting planners are recognizing the importance of health and wellness and incorporating that into their um, conferences is unique. It's very different. I saw one the other day that I liked, and that was they were offering yoga classes inside of the high roller. Yes. This is so amazing. you go inside of the, the largest Ferris wheel, and I hate to call it a Ferris wheel because it's so much more, uh, but the... You go in there and you have a yoga class while you get to see the yes. city of Las Vegas. That's pretty cool. It's very unique. I can't I, I can't honestly say that exists in any other city in the world. Yeah. Uh, so tell us unique. the other benefits. You oftentimes say, well, when a conference comes into Las Vegas, two unique things happen. Uh, their attendance goes up. Mm-hmm. People are actively, more actively engaged in the conference because you're not, uh, there's so much to offer at night. And the conference doesn't need to compete with the brand because the entertainment's built into the city. So take a few minutes and tell us about that. You just said it for me. (laughs) (laughs) What more can I add? That was perfect, Doug. Thank you. (laughs) No, I think you're absolutely right. Um, You know, during the day, conferences are very well attended in Las Vegas, and we have plenty of research that can support that fact. Um, and, And certainly at night. You know, the city comes alive and people can find plenty of entertainment and and, um, shows and restaurants and and other types of activities that they want to engage in. But from a meeting planner's perspective, during the day, conferences provide that that activity um, during the day. So um, sessions are more attended. Um, conference, we hear this from conference planners all the time, are more attended here in Las Vegas than oftentimes in other cities. Um, there isn't the daily daytime distractions of, sure. for example, a fabulous beach or ocean. Um, we have beaches, but a different kind of beach <laughs> <laughs> with a different purpose. So, um, But uh, in total, yeah, I think meeting planners, they, they enjoy coming back to our city. Um, I, it's, we're, we're a conference, a city that was built for travel and tourism. So we make it very easy for them to do business here. Sure. And we've got a question from another viewer. Mm-hmm. And this one says, do you work closely with the University of Nevada School of Medicine? I'm going to talk just a little bit about that. So uh, Las Vegas is blessed in that we have a couple new med schools being built right now. Uh, UNLV School of Medicine will uh, start uh, receiving students next year. And so with that, you're closely working with the hotel school over there on a different kind of conference called Hospitality and healthcare. Yes. Uh, it's not really around culinary medicine, but it's a different area. Uh, tell us about sure. hospitality and healthcare. Well, certainly there are a lot of synergies between um, the operations of a hospital and the operations of a hotel. Sure. Um, both are responsible for admitting or welcoming guests to their facilities, their properties. Um, Both offer food service, both have rooms that require housekeeping services. The list goes on and on and on. So there are a lot of synergies between the types of facilities themselves. So, you know, in our our strategic planning um, conversations around health and wellness travel, we realized something that was really very apparent and obvious to everyone. But um, again, we hadn't really put our finger on it until, you know, several years of planning and discussion had been underway. And that was that we have a lot of intellectual knowledge and expertise in the hospitality industry. And perhaps there are some things that could be shared with 
the healthcare industry that could assist with patient satisfaction, that could assist with um, ultimately with healthcare reimbursement um, rates. And certainly, I'm not an expert in healthcare reimbursement, but um, from what I do know, um, healthcare reimbursement is increasingly being tied to um, patient satisfaction. And so, there is a growing interest on the part of the healthcare industry to learn the best practices and to see uh, hear case studies from hospitality on how they do what they do and how Vegas does what it does. It's unique because UNLV Medicine is going to be a brand new med school, the newest one out there, and they see the value of bringing hospitality and bringing this patient experience into their curriculum. Mm -hmm. And I think it'd be unique, you know, it's a, what if they could bring a culinary medicine or, you know, because again, Las Vegas is such a culinary driven town. uh, We have access to all of these unique ways of getting the rest of the world healthy. Absolutely. Uh You know, one of the other benefits, too, with with the conferences come great experts. And the conferences attract um, physician experts and researchers, oftentimes from around the world. And when they're here in town, what a great opportunity it would be to have those physicians connect with our medical schools while they're here so that students can also benefit from the... um, uh, medical um, education that's happening here and and being presented here. So there's there's plenty of opportunities. And, you know, this is where I kind of go back to my original point about the economic impact of travel and tourism in Las Vegas is more than just the trickle-down um, dollar impact. There's an educational impact that's happening. And I think we're just on the cusp of beginning to see the, the early development of that. Yeah, it's been a, a fun... Uh experience for Las Vegas Heels mm-hmm. because we admire the work that the LVCVA has done over the years and uh, we, we really took the time to go, how do we lean into that brand? How do we better align our healthcare assets with tourism? And I think uh, we're off to a great start. Medical meetings are a gigantic thing. I think it's something that our, our local community can take advantage of. I think uh, the fact that all of this is happening in Las Vegas really shows Las Vegas in a different light than it's been showed before in the past. Uh, but we're, we're excited about that. So we want to bring the show to a close. Um, we're, uh, we wish that the folks from Cardiobolic Medic, Cardiometabolic <laughs> Risk Summit, it's a mouthful, were here with us today. We're, we're, we're very grateful and thankful uh, for the offer that they gave us. Uh, for those users that do want to take advantage of that, again, they could go online to crsfall.com and in, enter in a discount code of podcast. So P-O-D-C-A-S-T and take advantage of one of those 25 scholarships. Uh, but thank you for being on the show today. You're very welcome. Uh, thank we you. thank the, the viewers that are with us. We thank the those that uh, uh, asked some questions online with the live chat. And uh, we're going to be back with you more regularly now that we've got Inside Medicine up and going again. Check out the website for Las Vegas Heels. We've redone all of our websites and the news channel uh, to be able to accommodate uh, the more mobile-friendly environment out there. But uh, stay tuned with us, and we hope to see you back soon. My name's Doug Geinzer, and I am the the host of Las Vegas Heels, Cheryl Smith from the LVCVA. Thank you for being here, and uh, we'll see you soon.